Coach Lingney here, and I'm looking for a really good little snack. I'm going to be throwing a party pretty soon for a bunch of really pretty girls, and they're all going to be singing karaoke, having fun, so I need something they can just pick up, eat quick, put down as they run in the mic, and then come back and snack again. And it's talking to Bento, and he's been sick lately, that's why we haven't had a video, but he decided to show me how to go ahead and make this, so I'm going to make this one for you. It's going to be good. It's going to be like a big sushi little piece. And then we're going to eat them with these cute little nori snacks. Little seaweed pieces. Yeah, it's going to be good. Let's go see how we're going to make this. So here's the ingredients Bento wanted me to use. The list and the amounts will be in the description below. Okay, so here's our sushi rice, which we made yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and put it in our little baking croton pan here. Press it down just lightly. Again, I didn't want to use the fresh rice because that's just way too sticky. So you want it to kind of dry out just a little bit. And the best way is to let it cool down. So we just made it overnight. Put a little bit of the fukaki in it when I cooked it in the Instant Pot. And of course that recipe will be listed below. And we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little more fukaki on it here. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Should have gone the other direction. Not too much, a little bit. It's good flavor. And then the tuna we made. So the same thing, we're just going to go ahead and just plop some on top here. Spread it around, nice and nice even coat. Doesn't have to be too thick. Let's get a little more on here. More is always better. Let's get some back in the corners here. Yeah, look at this. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And to finish it off, a little sriracha mayo or just some regular QP mayo if you like. A little design on it. Make it look good. Now we're going to go ahead and throw this into a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes and take a look at it. And if the top's not as perfect as we want, then put it under the broiler for about 5 minutes. But watch it. Don't let it overcook. So let's go ahead and see how we got this. Let's throw this in the oven. Alright, after 15 minutes, that's looking good, but it's not looking perfect. Let's go ahead and give it a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes under the broiler. So we'll be right back. All right, check this out. This is four minutes under the broiler. It's like it's just about there. Mm, maybe 10 seconds too late, but maybe 10 seconds too early. Man, that's going to be good. Let's let this cool down just a little bit, and then let's go enjoy this. All right, we made this. There it is. I had it cool off for a couple of moments. And you can see I've got some little seaweed snacks. Now, you can just get a big sheet of that nori and cut it up with some scissors. But I didn't want to bet that much effort, so I bought these little packs. This is the sea salt variety. I haven't tried it with the wasabi snacks because the star was out. That pandemic is just... Ruining everything. So let's just take a little scoop here. Mmm. That looks good. It's got the rice. It's got the tuna filling. So what you do is you just kind of plop it in the middle there. Hold it like a little mini sushi taco sandwich. Whoop, we're losing a bit. And then we're going to eat it. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. 
been talking so good. My mouth is still full. Mm. It's got that sriracha heat. Just perfect. A little crunch on the top because we broiled it. And the rice is so sushi tender. It's got that little bit of vinegar twang and a little bit of sweetness. Because, well, it's sushi rice. And the fukaki, I just love fukaki. Whether you eat it or you just say it, it's fukaki. Just adds that oomph depth of flavor. That umami, they call it. Mmm, mmm. Coach Lean Meat approves on this one. So you go ahead and make it. I'm going to try one with some crab on top instead of the tuna. We'll see how that goes. And then soon I'm going to do one where I'm going to bake in little mini little muffin things. We'll try that one out with some fresh tuna with some ahi on it. That's coming up. So stay informed. Please like, subscribe. Put a comment down below if you've tried it. Or a comment down after you try it. Mm, this is good stuff. This is Coach out.